Once you guys got another video here for you, can't delete a file or folder, then you need to do this. As you can see here, I've got a folder here with some content in it. When I go to delete it, you can see it won't allow me to delete it. This is quite a common problem and I made a video about this showing you how to do it in command prompts and some people said it doesn't always work. So I wanted to show you a way that it does work and this will work 100% of the time. So let's go ahead and take a look at it here and what we can do. So the way I showed before inside uh, the command prompt, I actually copied this like so. And then we went into command prompt here. Let me type CMD and run this as administrator here. This is if you want to try and do it in command prompt, you can type DEL space forward slash F and then paste in that path that we just copied and then push enter. And then hopefully it will say, are you sure you want to do this? We're going to say wifey, yes, push enter. And you'll see that it doesn't remove it. And that's because it can't, because for some reason uh, this is locked and we need to basically unlock it and remove it. So what we're going to do is I'll show you another way to do it using some software, which is free to download and free to use. So let me go ahead and show you that right here. So inside Task Manager here, you'll see that the file is not listed here. Sometimes you can close the file down inside your processes here, and then you can try that command to delete it or remove it, and it will allow you to remove that file. But the file was not listed here. So let me show you basically what you can do here. So we're going to go ahead and download some software. So we're going to need to go to this website here. It's called Lock Hunter. And this is just one piece of software that you can use. And it's quite good. And the best part, it's free. So it shows you a couple of pictures here on the actual website, what it actually does. But I'll show you in more detail and how we can remove this. So I'm going to go ahead and download this and get it installed on the computer. So let's uh, finish this off and then we can go ahead and try to remove this folder. So here it is right here. So all you need to do here is we're going to go back to this location right here, right click, and then we need to come down to show more because we're on Windows 11 and you should see what's locking this folder. So we're going to click on what's locking this folder and it's going to do a scan and it's going to try to find out what is locking the actual folder. And you can see here, no process is locking this folder or file have been found. So basically it can't find a process. Like I showed you, there is no process. But when we go to delete it here, you can see other, it says uh, delete all on the next restart, unlock and rename, unlock and copy. And there is terminate locking process here and delete locking process from the disk, but they're grayed out because obviously you can't use that method on this folder. So right here, we do have delete it. So let's go ahead and delete it. It's going to try to delete that folder and it can't. It says cannot delete the files or folders. So now we're going to have to delete it on the next restart. That's how we're going to solve this issue. So what we're going to do is click on this and it's going to now say that when we restart our PC, it's going to delete and remove that folder and files inside on the next restart. So once you restart your PC, I am recording the screen right now, so I won't be able to show you the restart process, uh, but I'll quickly uh, restart here because this is on my main system. So I'm going to restart the PC and I'll see you back at the desktop in a second. So once you've got the PC restarted, you will see this files deleted successfully. All the files you ordered to delete on the operating system after the restart were deleted successfully. And there you go. We've just removed that folder with all the contents inside of it. And if you're one of these people that have tried the command prompt method with the Dell space forward slash F and it hasn't worked for you, then you can use something like this and try to delete it that way. If it can't delete it while you're on the actual desktop, it will tell you to delete it on the next reboot. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. This one was requested by a couple of people after the previous video. So I hope that video helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.